Ragamuffin Cat vs. Maine Coon Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Ragamuffin's breed standard describes him as a cuddly feline teddy bear. He is characterized by his large size, large walnut-shaped eyes that can be any color, sweet expression, and variety of colors and patterns. One of the interesting facts about the breed is that kittens are born white, then develop their color or pattern as they mature. Some of the differences between the Ragamuffin and the Ragdoll are seen in the face. For instance, the Ragamuffin has full cheeks and the eyes are walnut-shaped rather than oval. The Ragamuffin has a broad, modified wedge-shaped head with a rounded appearance. It's supported by a short, heavy, strong neck that is especially apparent in males. Mature males are known for their jowls, giving them something of the look of a crusty old brigadier general. The broad-chested body is muscular and heavy, often with a pad of fat on the lower abdomen. A long, fully furred tail looks as if it would make a nice, soft bottle brush. Medium to medium long fur is rabbit soft, dense, and silky. It's slightly longer around the neck, on the sides and belly, and on the hind legs. The paws and ears are furnished with tufts of fur as well. The coat comes in every color and pattern. This is a large cat and they mature slowly, not reaching their full size until they are 4 years old. A Maine Coon is a big, rugged cat with a smooth, shaggy coat who looks as if they could put in a full day mousing on a farm in all weather conditions. Indeed, they were built for just such work in the harsh Maine climate, and their breed standard reflects their heritage, calling for a medium-sized to large cat with a well-proportioned body that is muscular and broad-chested. A Maine Coon has substantial, medium-length legs and large, round paws, well tufted with fur, to serve as snowshoes during winter. A heavy coat is shorter on the shoulders, longer on the stomach and breeches, long fur on the upper hind legs, with a rough in front and a long, furry tail waving a greeting. A medium width head is slightly longer than it is wide and has a squarish muzzle. Large, well tufted ears are wide at the base, tapering to a point, and large, expressive eyes are green, gold, greenish gold, or copper. White or bi-colored Maine Coons may have blue or odd eyes. The brown tabby pattern is so common in this breed that many people don't know Maine Coons can come in any other colors or patterns. They might be surprised to learn that Maine Coons are found in solid colors that include black, red or white, all tabby colors and patterns, bicolor such as blue and white or red and white, and patterns such as tortoiseshell and calico. Like his cousin the ragdoll, the ragamuffin is a huggable lug who wants nothing more than to follow his people around and sit in a lap whenever possible. A nice combination of sweet and smart, he is often described as puppy-like for his friendly personality and willingness to play fetch, learn tricks and walk on a leash. He greets visitors warmly and would meet you at the door with a martini if only he had opposable thumbs. The ragamuffin is known for its docile nature. He loves to be held like a baby and will completely relax into your arms. Ragamuffins like to play but are good about limiting their attention to their toys and scratching posts, not your furniture. It is rare to non-existent for them to lay a claw on a person. This is a mellow cat but one who craves attention. Don't get a ragamuffin if you will have to leave him alone for many hours every day. The good-natured and affable Maine Coon adapts well to many lifestyles and personalities. They like being with people and have the habit of following them around, but they aren't needy. They're happy to receive attention when you direct it their way, but if you're busy, they're satisfied to just supervise your doings. Close a door on them and they will wait patiently for you to realize the error of your ways and let them in. They're not typically lapping cats, but they do like to be near you. They also retain their skill as a mouser. Even if you don't have any mice for them to chase, they'll keep their skills sharp by chasing toys and grabbing them with their big paws. A Maine Coon also enjoys playing fetch and will retrieve small balls, toys, or wadded up pieces of paper. They can climb as well as any cat but usually prefer to stay on ground level. That's where their work is, after all. They're also very smart and will happily learn tricks or play with puzzle toys that challenge their brain. Maine Coons usually enjoy a kittenish love of play well into adulthood. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The Ragamuffin's soft coat is long, but its texture is tangle resistant. Weekly brushing or combing is all that's needed to remove dead hairs and keep them looking beautiful. The Ragamuffin has a fearless personality, so it's never a good idea to let him go outside. He has no notion that other people or animals might mean him harm and is not street smart in the least. Despite the length of the Maine Coon's coat, it has a silky texture that doesn't mat easily, if you groom it regularly. It is easily cared for with twice-weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. 
Useful grooming tools include a stainless steel comb for removing tangles and what's called a grooming rake to pull out dead undercoat, which is what causes tangles when it's not removed. Use it gently, especially in the stomach area and on the tail. Maine Coons are patient, but they don't like having their hair pulled any more than you do. Check the tail for bits of poop stuck to the fur and clean it off with a baby wipe. Bathe a Maine Coon as needed, which can range from every few weeks to every few months. If their coat feels greasy or their fur looks stringy, they need a bath. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene. It's a good idea to keep a ragamuffin and Maine Coon as indoor-only cats to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The calm and even-tempered ragamuffin is an ideal family cat. He doesn't mind being held or carried around by a child or dressed up and pushed in a baby buggy. He is playful and smart, one of those cats who enjoys playing fetch and learning tricks, and his energy level means he won't wear out before the child does. Always teach children how to hold the cat properly, supporting both the hind end and the front end, and have little children pet him while they are sitting on the floor or on a sofa so they can be on the same level as the cat without trying to hold him. After all, he may weigh more than they do. The ragamuffin is also friendly toward other pets, including dogs, cats, birds, rodents, and lizards. To this gentle giant, everyone is his friend. Nonetheless, it's always a good idea to introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. The friendly, laid-back Maine Coon is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. They love the attention they receive from children who treat them politely and with respect, and they don't mind playing dress-up or going for a ride in a baby buggy. They're happy to live with cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to their amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.